What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel! For those who don't know me yet, this is Alec, the simple citizen from the country of the Philippines! If you are just new here, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, Electish Official. Tick on the notification bell so you will always be updated every time we do have new uploads. And for today's video, I'm going to show you what you could do with your Echo Bricks at home. For those who don't know what an Echo Brick is and how to make one, please click on the card above and my video will answer your questions. So guys, are you excited? Same here! So what are you waiting for? Let's get this party started! Welcome back guys, so let me show you the things that we need. First of course is our echo brick. The size should correspond its weight. So this is a 1.5 liter bottle. It should be at least 500 grams. So let me check. Okay, there you go. Echo bricks, check! Next is our soft wires. Please select the one which is for floral arrangement because it is soft and easy to use. We also need to have a cutter to cut our wires and then this is an old string curtain. I just braided it to look like this. A used sack of rice and of course our spray paint and I prefer white. So all set up, let's get this started! Using our soft wires, we're going to loop our echo bricks so that they'll stick together. We're going to do it thrice by starting at the middle and then at the bottom and at the top to make it stronger. I bought this soft wires from an online store. It's just 16 pesos per 3 meters. These wires are actually for floor arrangements and I prefer to use this because it is soft, strong, and very easy to use. Now if you could see, it is very important that the wire is easy to use because we're gonna do a lot of loops ahead. So to make sure that each echo brick is properly locked and held, I make three turns of the wire to hold it strong. Here's the outcome of our first loop for the 8 echo bricks. Remember the 3 turns that I mentioned earlier to lock each echo brick? Here's what it looks like. There's just a small space in between, but I can guarantee you that it holds each echo brick stronger. Now let's close our echo brick by looping the first and the last echo brick together to form a small circle in the middle. Make sure that the wire is properly locked. And then let's start the second batch of loops which is at the bottom part of each echo brick. So at this time, we will be locking each echo brick at the outer part of the circle. And same as what I did earlier, it's still going to be 3 turns per echo brick. So here's what it looks like after the second batch of loops. Here's the first loop, and then here's the second loop.
the last batch of loops is gonna be a lot easier because basically you were just putting wires on top of each echo bricks to make it stronger and that's it so here's what it looks like after the three batch of loops first second and third it looks very strong yeah Aww. now let's get our used sack of rice and put it in the middle of our echo brick now we need to make sure that it has the same length of each echo brick by folding it like this and then once it's done simply put the sack in the middle and make sure that the outer part could still hold the tip of each bottle just like that so now we just need to make sure that the sack won't slip from the tip of the bottle so we're just gonna do a simple stitching in between each bottles attaching the wires that we looped at the top part of each echo brick make sure that the tip of the wire is sharp enough to make a hole by the way for those kids who would like to try this please do not do this without your parents supervision and please be very careful in doing this because you might get hurt so here's how it looks like at the outside and this is from the inside i actually made four secure stitches now let's go make a little decoration to our echo brick so this was the old string curtain that we had now since we are no longer using it i cut it and braided it and make it look like this we're still gonna use our soft wires to attach our braided string curtain just like that Now, to make sure that everything don't go to waste, I actually included the upper part of this curtain. So, it looks like this! And of course, for the last touch, I put a spray paint at the bottom part of each echo brick just to make it presentable, just like that. Welcome back guys! So, did you enjoy my video? 
So I just want to show you the outcome of the project that I made. So basically, this is the one that I just showed you earlier. This is actually the second attempt that I made. You can see there are the eight echo bricks that are binded together. I covered it with um, one of our used string curtains. I braided it to look like that to make it more presentable and useful. And I surrounded it at the outer part of my echo bricks to look like that. I painted a white spray paint at the bottom part of it to make it look more presentable and in the middle I put a sack wherein it will catch the soil of the plant that I will be putting in and voila it looks like that and this one is actually my first attempt it is made of nine echo bricks all binded together I used our old cable wires to surround the outer part of the echo bricks and then again, I painted it with a white spray paint and beautiful it looks like that. And this is actually the third project that I made. It is made of 10 echo bricks all binded together. I intentionally didn't put anything at the outer part of the echo bricks. I just uh, painted it with a white spray paint as well because I wanted people to notice it and spread awareness on how you could be wiser with regards to plastic wastes. And right after I put it outside our garage, a lot of people are asking me about this. So. Goal achieved! Yes! By the way, before I end this video, I just wanted to thank DNR Central Luzon for recognizing my efforts. I hope this will also inspire other people on how you could be wiser, especially in regards to your plastic wastes. Before complaining, do something. Anyway, then again, for those who haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel, Electish Official. Tick on the notification bell so you'll always be updated every time we have new uploads. And then again, guys, I'm really, really thankful for all your love and support. So, I'll see you again next time. You take care and God bless.